and the other is this idea of saturated fat. Uh, so many people in society today, in fact, that you know, you keep hearing every all these observational studies keep coming out. You know, don't eat meat, don't eat eggs. And I say, didn't we do the RCTs? Didn't we do the randomized control trials? So why are we even bothering with these poorly done uh, food frequency questionnaire studies, right? Mm-hmm. Looking at data and, 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 and clearly they only show associational correlation uh, and they're not really strong evidence. So talk a little bit about this fear of saturated fat because you can't eat carnivore if you're afraid of saturated fat. Just explain that so that people won't fear that. Yeah, I mean, there's just there's such a weight of inertia behind this going back, you know, to you know, 1977 USDA declaration that cholesterol causes heart disease and and saturated fat increases cholesterol. Therefore, saturated fat is bad. But you know, saturated fat is actually a very important uh, nutrient. You know, we talk about you know essential fatty acids, and uh, a lot of these come from saturated animal fats. Um, mm-hmm. Fat makes the animal kingdom go around, really. By and large, animals run on saturated fat, even herbivores. You know, we think that they eat this fibrous plants and that then and they get the constituent you know, molecules in that fibrous plant, but they but they actually don't. They sort of more like cultivate bacteria in their intestines, like ruminants, uh, will 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 cultivate these bacteria that will eat the fiber for, for their own use, and then their waste is actually short chain fatty acids which are 100% saturated. And that's what the ruminant or the cow or the animal actually absorbs. So there's a difference between what they eat and what they absorb. So they're eating fibrous plants, but they're absorbing saturated fat. And then when those bacteria die off, they get broken down and they get absorbing, they get protein from that as well. So it's actually a high fat, high protein diet as well. Um, carnivores, obviously they're eating animals with fat on them and they go for the fat first. And so that, and it's a very important uh, a survival nutrient. They, they really need that. So, you know, it, it doesn't, does not follow that we would be an, an animal, basically the only animal that saturated fat would be bad for. You know, I, I don't, I don't know of any other examples, uh, besides humans that people have even suggested this. So it really comes from that declaration that cholesterol is, is bad and saturated fat increases cholesterol. And, and, you know, this has actually been thoroughly debunked. It's not even, well, we have some studies that say this, like, no, we, we have historical documentation showing that the original studies and the, even the 1977 declaration from the USDA were, were bought and paid for by the sugar companies and, and, and they were fraudulent. You know, the Journal of American Medical Association published these in, in, in 2015. Uh, it came out of University of California, San Francisco Medical School. They published this and showed that, you know, from the sugar company's own records, that they, were, they paid off three Harvard professors to falsify data and publish fraudulent studies to make it appear mm. as if cholesterol caused heart disease when it was really sugar. And one of those professors was named head of the USDA, and it was he who authored and published the 1977 declaration. But obviously, he's compromised. And you look back at their studies, look back at their data, you see that they cherry pick things to make it look one way when it was actually another. And they actually had, they actually had data, you know, like um, uh, Ansel Keys is a classic example of that with the seven nation study. And he, you know, uh, you know, he sh- said that all oh, these, these seven nations, and as they increase in uh, uh, saturated fat and cholesterol, their exponential increase in heart disease. But he had complete data for, I think it was 23 different countries and mm-hmm. they were just scattered all over the map. So there wasn't even a correlation. And you, as you say, all of these, there wasn't, wasn't a single study that ever showed causation between uh, sat, saturated fat or LDL cholesterol and heart disease and only correlative studies. But obviously you cannot prove causation through correlation, right? Mm-hmm. But if you show that there's no correlation, that proves there is no causation because you have to have a correlation. That's right. You know, to even to, to even start this conversation on causation. So there wasn't even a correlation. They knew that full well, and that's what all the big studies post 2015 really have have come out and shown. With hundreds of thousands of people showing that higher LDL cholesterol is actually protective against heart disease and stroke. Same with saturated fat, and that. People over the age of 60 who have higher LDL cholesterol are living longer, living more independently, less likely to go to nursing homes, less likely to have Alzheimer's and dementia. So saturated fat is, is really one of your best friends. 
and it is, it is, it is a very important molecule. Cholesterol is as well. Every single cell in your body is made out of cholesterol. I learned that in eighth grade. And so, you know, in life sciences, I had, uh, I remember looking at that in the textbook that, that cell membranes, our cell membranes were made out of cholesterol. I remember thinking, I was like, how can cholesterol be bad for us? We're made out right. of cholesterol. It's- and, uh, you know, and most of our hormones as well. Um, you know, steroid hormones like, uh, you know, testosterone, estrogen, progestogens, mineralocorticoids, uh, glucocorticoids, these are all made from uh, uh, you know, cholesterol. So, and, and so many other things as well. So this is, these, this is a, a universally beneficial molecule and we just need to undo this, uh, this aversion we have to it. You know, we, there's data and literature going back, you know, into the 1800s that, I was, that I've looked at all talking about fat is very important. It's very satiating. It will help you lose weight. Fatty meat is the way to go. This is the healthiest way to go. And we just, we threw all of that out. We threw it all out after that 1977 declaration. So the information is all there. We just have to sort of mm-hmm. rediscover it and, uh, and undo that, that, that burden of misinformation. 